Okay, we're on Highway 74, uh, just out of Bryson City, headed toward the Nantahala Whitewater Center, or what used to be called the Whitewater Center. And uh, we've been there many times before. I just thought you might like to see some of the how lush it is and green through here. And of course, this is Kudzu City right here. In case you don't know about kudzu, and by, I don't guess everybody does, but kudzu is an invasive plant that was introduced in order to stop, help mitigate the effects of erosion. And it did a great job. Unfortunately, as you can see, it grows over everything. It kill, it'll kill every tree. It grows up over it and just covers them up. Like, just like that post gets up on wires and stuff like that. And uh, it's really hard to kill. Uh, I understand goats really like it, so, you know, uh, biological control would be bringing out a herd of goats and let them go at it, but I don't know how good they are climbing poles and trees, so maybe not so good. But I uh, just thought I'd give you a, or just give you a video. I'm sure Susan will pull off when we get up here, uh, and I just thought I'd show it to you. We just missed the train. There's a sightseeing train that comes from, uh, I understand, Bryson City. They load up there and you come down, I think it's about an hour, they stay for a couple hours and then an hour back. Uh, I think they give you a box lunch if you want it. Or you can, there are restaurants here at the Whitewater Center, you can get a, you can, they got a little 7-Eleven, you can get something there, or you can go into a sit-down restaurant and have a sandwich or something. But, uh, so nice. A lot of places along here are, as you can imagine, Whitewater related. A lot of uh, rafting companies. Uh, met a really nice young man uh, last year who uh, worked for him and he was he was running the river all by himself just just staying in shape and getting them more familiar with the river um, and he offered to take us on a guided tour of the river but we, we declined and that we're here to ride we don't we're not much into the whitewater sports but uh, if you are this would be a great place to come Nantahala River is really nice Flows well all year round. Uh, it's not super deep, so it's it's got some speed to it. It's got some rapids. Nothing bad. You know, it's not for any of you technical guys, but uh, at least not that I know of. But uh, you can get a raft, you can get a kayak, you can get about anything. But uh, as you see, rafting places everywhere. We'll be down there pretty soon in the center and of course we're getting a whole line of traffic behind us but that's just normal that's normal for us we'll pull over like I said when we get to the center my guess is it's not really much of a not a great place to pull off before we get there here comes a bus with rafts on it see I'm not lying to you they're coming uh, back to bringing people Let's see, they might have picked them up right up here. I don't know. Since they're coming back with rafts, they must have just picked them up up here at the center. Because they usually take them way up river. There's a uh, sort of a, it's like a little park that they, that they put in. They've got bathrooms there and parking area and stuff like that. But, uh, again, more kudzu. This is a kudzu channel, all kudzu all the time. There's some of the clouds left over from earlier when we were stuck in the stuck in the camper. But you know, being stuck in the camper during the rain is still better than being home <laughs> on a sunny day. Because we're up here having a good time. And like I said, we get to leave all our problems behind us. Look at that field of kudzu right there. See, that's what I mean. It doesn't even need a tree. It just flows over the land like the water. Let's kill that tree. Down here on the right is a uh, Jim Moo, a ruby mine they call it. Oh, she's going to pull over and we're going to let traffic by. Okay, and not a great place, Susan, but we'll do it. And, uh, but there's an idea. So come here and you can get a bucket of dirt and you get to sift through it. And uh, They say there's some rubies and, sa rubies and sapphires and a couple other, you know, uh, gems. You can get a bucket to go so you can do it at home if you want instead. But... Uh, all kinds of touristy stuff down here. Not a bad place to come. Uh, you can 
You can certainly stay at the Iron Horse and come down here. This is Iron Horse is kind of equidistant to everything we like. Um, this place here, I've never, uh, I've never, I don't think I ever bought gas there. I think I went and got a soft drink or something. But down over the hill, you can't really see him. Is another, is another gym mine. We uh, met a nice retired gentleman down there. And, had a nice talk with him. He's got lots of little knickknacks and doodads and stuff like that if you want a souvenir. You can buy a rock if you want to. He sells rocks. Imagine that. They're real shiny. But uh, this place on the left here, I just don't understand. This has been closed for, well, since before COVID, really. And why somebody hasn't, you know, opened that up again do something with it. I mean, heck, I, I don't think it would make a bad little house out down here. About the right size. It's already got a kitchen in it and a bathroom. So what do you need? What more do you need than that? But, uh, and parking, lots of parking. But uh, I think we went in there one time. It wasn't too bad. Sandwiches and stuff. But uh, like I said, it's long gone. I keep looking for it when we come back. Things come and go around here. I don't know. Uh, I don't really know what the economy is around here, whether it's uh, getting better, getting worse. I don't see a, there's not a lot of building in this area, of course, because this is down in the, down in the gorge. And I like this place. I think that became a private home. I think it was a business at one time. I'm not sure. But here we are. We're coming up on the, they call it the Nantahala Outdoor Center now, not just Whitewater, because I guess they want to get hikers and bikers and everything else in there. But it's mostly white water because it's right on the river. All right, there's a bridge going over to that side. The train would be over there if we were, if we had not been late getting here. But uh, that's all right too. Yeah, I knew she'd pull off right here. Give you an idea. Look at. Oh, there's somebody in the shooting the shooting the rapids there. Hope I'm not blocking the camera with it. Uh, he'll. Uh, that's uh, those poles hanging down there. That's the course they run and. Some of them they have to go through forwards and some they have to go through backwards, I guess. I'm not sure how that works. There he goes. He's paddling hard now to get up there. Oh, I guess he's already made his run. Oh, well, pity. But, uh, all right, well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna knock off right, well, hold on. Pardon me? Okay, go ahead. Okay, well, that was interesting. Oh, look, somebody has lost a, I don't know if you can see it, probably can't. Somebody lost their paddle off their kayak down there All right. well let me knock off here then we just got here I might do some more video